to my YouTube channel or if you guys are new, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment if you like the content. As you guys can see by today's title, we are going to be doing vision boards and I'm gonna show you how to create the perfect vision board so that you can manifest your dream life. Mm -hmm. We are gonna be talking about why vision boards are beneficial, the different methods you can use for your vision board, and also the most important part, creating a plan so that you can achieve your vision. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So you guys, the word of our video is going to be faith because one faith without works is dead that's bible okay we can make vision boards all we want we can speak out what we want to happen all we want but if you're not doing the work do getting the job done then it's just not gonna work for you like as simple as that that's like saying god i want a million dollars okay and god gives you those tools to get that million to make that million but you're just sitting there still with your hand out, like I want a million dollars. Like it just doesn't work like that. You have to do the work as well. But we're focusing on our vision. So I just wanna talk about why I feel like vision boards are beneficial. First things that I've noticed as a YouTuber who has been on YouTube for seven years, actually it's probably been eight years, I don't know, but who's been on YouTube forever. One thing I've noticed is that this is not happening overnight okay things take time the greater your vision the more time it will take like who wants i mean okay the some people do want things that just happen overnight like that but if you want something substantial you are going to have to give me something substantial like new york said if you want something that's going to be long lasting if you want something that's going to withstand the the test of time it's going to take time to build and you're going to have to build a strong and solid foundation so i said all that to say that along that journey it can be discouraging i have been on youtube for a long time and sometimes it's it's discouraging to see that things aren't growing as fast as you want and in those times of discouragement that's when you need your reminder of your vision. That's when you need to be reminded of why you are doing what you're doing. So I think that a vision board really ultimately stands as a reminder in those rough times on this roller coaster on your journey that I'm going to get there, okay? So it's really just like motivation and it's really fuel. Even though I said you cannot rely on motivation, you also, you need to remind yourself that, you know, here's the vision, we have to get to it. That's one of my main reasons for using a, bit, a vision board. I feel like some people make vision boards and everything, this thing where it's like, okay, I'm gonna put this down and it's just going to happen because I put it on a board. No, it does not work like that. It's your vision that you need to see constantly so that you can continue to create a plan and do the groundwork and do the work to get there. That's what that means to me. Another reason why I think vision boards are beneficial is because it can really stand as like a kind of a chart or a reminder of where you are, what you have accomplished and you know, like what more you have to do. Just a way to measure your growth because there are vision boards that I've had in the past that I can go back and look at and be like, oh, okay, I checked that off. Like I did that, I did that, I did that, you know? So I just really think that it's going to be a way for you to measure your growth and um, just continue to go forward, move forward so that you can accomplish everything else. One last reason why I think that they are very beneficial is because it brings clarity and focus. Sometimes you can have this vision in your head, you can know what you wanna do, you can be like, okay, I'm gonna get into this area one day, but I think that a vision board helps it to be more clear and really more specific. Like you, okay, I wanna do this thing. I want this exact car. I, I like this quote and I want this to apply to my life. Like it's more specific and it kind of takes out the 
all this in your brain and you're able to be specific and know exactly what it is that you want. So there are lots of different methods that you can use as far as your vision board. I've seen on TikTok where some girl, like she went and she printed off all of her pictures and it's really cheap to do it too, y'all. You can take your pictures to Walmart or through CVS. Like I think it's like 40 cent or something per picture. It's super cheap, but she printed off all of her images and then um, she of course picked them up and was able to actually physically glue them onto a board and I think that's a really good idea because it makes for like super cute artwork and then not only just the artwork but you can hang that in your house somewhere and it's something that you can see all the time like on your way out the house okay this is my vision or when I'm about to film a YouTube video I could look at my vision board and be like okay I, this is my vision. This is why I'm filming this YouTube video. This is why we are making these things happen. So I think like a physical one is so awesome. I am more of a digital girl. Um, that's what I'm going to be using. You can do whatever you want, but digital vision boards are literally digital vision boards. Like it's something you can do on your computer, um, your iPad, your phone. You can download what is Canva to make my vision board, but also I use my personal planner, you guys. So I have a digital planner. Girl, look at me, reach into it. I have a digital planner and it's focused on goals, mindset, and your vision. And in your in the digital planner, there's a section where you can put your vision board. So I just use that and that's awesome because I use the daily planner. I can go back through it daily when I check my schedule, when I'm writing things down and I can look at my vision and remind myself of my vision. Girl, I 10 out of 10 recommend the planner. If you guys want more information about the planner or you wanna look more at it, go to the link in my description box and then you'll be able to see it. It's so good, y'all. So that's how I typically do my planners, but I, low-key want to try to get the physical do the physical thing so i can hang it up somewhere in my house let me know in the comments you guys are you a digital type of girly or are you more of a physical vision board type of girl okay so the next important part for your vision board is to gather your content i am a pinterest girl okay i get on pinterest and i literally just scroll and i save all of the images that i want to use on my vision board and also pinterest is a nice way for you guys to stay organized like you can literally get on there and create different boards so in case you don't want to do a vision board you can literally just get on pinterest create a board for outfits you you want to wear or picture inspo or a car i want to drive like you can just break it up into different things let like different sections and different areas dedicate that to different areas of your life so for this area i'm going to have my money area this area i'm going to have my relationships this area i'm going to have my um my health this area in the middle i'm going to have my relationship with god this area is going to be like you know cars i want to drive like my material stuff so that's another big thing that i recommend it's just to kind of break it down so it's not just cluttered like you want to stay organized with your with your vision board but outside of pinterest there are lots of other ways that you guys can save content of course if you're on social media you can use um, Instagram if you see TikTok videos like whatever you want to do you can do it you could just save those pictures screenshot it crop it so that it fits perfectly on your vision board and then also if like I said if you're not into the vision board thing Instagram and TikTok also have the feature where you save like content and put it into different collections and those kind of co those collections can signify the different areas of your life and you just go back through, um, look at it, and girl, remind yourself of your vision. So of course you're going to want to take your time and you're going to want to put all of your stuff on your vision board. Take your time, do your thing, make it you, make it something special. When you get done creating your vision board, I think the most important part and the most important thing for you to spend your time on is your plan. 
Now, I posted a YouTube video. It's the video before this one that you're watching that gets into like your routine and how to be produ productive and everything. But really like it talks about how to take your greater vision and your greater goal and to break it down into your daily plan and your daily routine. So I think that the most important part is just to work on your plan and figure out how you're going to get there. So if it's the new car you wanna drive, for me, girl, I, I want a G-Wagon. I want one, I'm a G-Wagon girly, need her, I'm going to receive her, I'm going to get her. But it's like, if you want a G-Wagon, okay, what's your plan? Like maybe you focus on, on every Monday, it's Money Mondays or Millionaire Mondays. Make it a thing for you to where you can study um, credit and you can study different bank accounts and savings accounts and just different things that's going to get you to that greater plan. So I'm just saying we don't stop at a vision board. We don't stop at pictures on something. Like we have to have a concrete plan. And if you guys wanna know more about how you can create a plan that really works for you and for your current schedule, that's not a drastic change, but something that just incorporates little changes that are gonna help you get to your vision board, make sure you check out that last video that I uploaded, okay? And if you have questions or video requests or things that you want me to speak on, if I'm qualified, girl, I'll do it. Just put it in the comments. That's really all I have. If you can incorporate creating and crafting a great vision board with crafting and creating a great plan on how to achieve that vision, girl, you're gonna get there you're going to be unstoppable, okay? Thank y'all so much for watching this YouTube video. Thank you for watching this far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, comment, and if you haven't already, I'm asking you to subscribe, to leave me a thumbs up, and to leave me a comment on your thoughts on the video. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye! Taking these drugs, I'm gonna be up until the morning.